A police department out on Oregon's coast is using special codes to track calls involving people who are homeless, particularly when they're being aggressive. The chief expected pushback and concerns about civil liberties. But as KGW's Maggie Vespa explains, officers in Astoria have been doing this for months without interruption. Good evening. As it stands right now here in Astoria, all police calls involving a homeless person have one code and then aggressive calls, an admittedly subjective term involving a homeless person, have another. The chief of police says it's not common, but it's necessary. Walking through downtown Astoria, signs of the housing crisis are scattered, but they're there. Hello, Astoria police. We're here to post the camp. Remember, this is the city that six months ago made headlines for clearing camps from its forests. <laughs> the notice says is um, you have 24 hours from the posting of this notice to remove all of your belongings. Okay, so what this report tells me is we since then Astoria's chief of police says calls involving homeless people have been piling up. This one here tells me that we've had 367 homeless related calls, which has already exceeded last year's numbers. Uh, for the whole year. Chief Spaulding knows that because officers are now flagging these calls with special codes. 40 for calls involving a homeless person, which they started logging last year. 41 for calls involving a homeless person who's being aggressive, a subjective term, he says. They started logging those in January. Now we can say, well, this isn't just what we've heard from a couple people. We are actually seeing this reported in the data. And then again, it gives us um, some ideas in terms of you know, how best to deploy our resources. These are trespass calls. Police keep a list of these calls, but don't include names or traditional report numbers. They just note location, date, time, and behaviors. Us, the chief, though confident. Know, this is not something that we're profiling. Expected pushback, concerns about civil liberties liberties and privacy. Tonight, the ACLU of Oregon confirming his hunch, writing in part, data collection by law enforcement can provide useful insights, but only if that data is verifiable and not subjective. This type of data can lead to problematic outcomes like more severe punishment and bias in subsequent interactions. Staff at Astoria-based Clatsop Community Action aren't concerned. I think the city's trying to do a, a, a take a balanced approach and deal with the behaviors, um, not the people. And the issue of their being homeless is secondary. We're all the same. We all bleed the same, right? These two men downtown hold signs demanding respect. I asked what they think of these new codes. We don't really see a problem with it. No. <clears throat> no, not us in particular. So we went searching on the internet for police departments elsewhere who use tactics like this. We didn't find much, although the city of San Francisco right now is reportedly eyeing an app that would track homeless people looking to get into housing, though participating in that is voluntary. The Portland Police Bureau tells us they do not note a person's housing status when recording calls for help. I'm Maggie Vespa reporting KGW News.